Hello viewers and people systems channel, my name is Daniel and today we are going to set up and enroll an extra monitor into the second gen Hikvision intercom system that I'm given here, consisting of an indoor station and outdoor station. And by the way, all the equipment from this video is available on the People System store website along with a special offer for our subscribers. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Recently, we have activated, launched, and configured this door phone and the intercom to work together. And the video is available behind that prompt in that corner. So, uh, if you're just beginning to work with the system, I really advise you to start from there. And so, we continue from the moment of activation of these things. Our task this time is to add an additional monitor to the already operating system. And in my case, both monitors and the outdoor station are activated and enrolled into the IVMS 4200s. And I don't think it actually makes sense to disclose an activation process every time, as I can just link a video to, and a full setup and activation. So in order to make a call to go bo to both intercoms at once, we need to have the main monitor tied within the door phone. And after that, we need to designate the main and the secondary monitors. And that can be done via IM VMS 4200s on the PC, or we can do that with no software at all, directly from the monitor itself. And today we are reviewing both options. Thin iris space level with the key button will be our main one. And well, this is gonna be extra one. And we begin <laughs> with the cancel IVMS version. All right, so uh, we go to the IVMS 4200s. And as mentioned before, the devices are activated and are enrolled into the IVMS already. So you can see them all. There's the three devices we have, and they all are online. So indoor station main, indoor station additional. Oh, no otherwise, and the door station. Uh, so, but there was no settings applied to them. They were just added here, but no settings at all. Well, except, except that the main indoor station, there is it, 8350, was already tied, tied within our door station. So yeah, when you press that button, it will call to the main unit. But yeah, now we're gonna add the additional monitor. Here is the 6320 to our already operating system and so what we do we select it and we go behind we go under this uh, cog icon so we go into the uh, settings now here we need to designate uh, this one as an extension device and input the main monitor IP address in it but uh, note not the door phone Ex exactly the main monitor IP address so we go to the uh, where we go, where we go. All right, to the intercom tab, and uh, the first button is the ID configuration. So as you can see here, device type is indoor station at the moment, and we're gonna change that to the indoor extension. So they'll make it work on the a extension unit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also assign here and sign him a second number, and we save. Uh, now, yeah, we, gotta, we have a warning that the device is going to reboot right now and we're letting him do that. We're giving it its time. So, um, yeah, it's actually uh, a, a necessary thing. Yeah, just like that, because it's going to apply all the settings that we have configured right now to it inside of it. And to mention, it won't happen with the uh, activation on screen of the monitor itself. That's the second option we're going to try after this. It's just completely free of all that. And uh, the device starts, I can see a logo appears. We're almost ready to go, just a few seconds more. Let me refresh it, it should, like, shouldn't be online, but it is, I just haven't refreshed yet. All right, so the device just rebooted. The device just rebooted and we are almost ready to go. Yeah, we need to go into the settings again. So 6320, the settings again. But this time we need the network tab and the linked network configuration button. So as you can see, the type of our monitor has changed here above two uh, and it's changed to the extension type. And that's what we need. And here we need to input, we need to type in the IP of our main monitor. 
So let me do that. Uh, the main mantra I be here is Zen one nine two one two one six eight one six eight zero and uh, and and sixty four. There we go. Sixty four. Am I am I am I right? I really hope I am. And I am saving. Saved. Saved. It's fantastic. We're done here. And now let me show you how does that look. And that is what we got. I initiate the call from the door phone and we can actually see the feedback on low. Yeah. On the both monitors simultaneously. Let me just let, let, let me drop it. And we can also go to live view and well on both door phones and you can see everything is also is also active here. And the functionality is the same and you can instantly yeah open the door on the do the door both of them so all right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna restore the factory settings on my x-ray intercom to show you the second way to tie it to our system and i wanted to do clearly and note that i'm leaving the main unit and the door phone activated but when i uh, do the restore in here it will untie the extra monitor, uh, well, automatically. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the settings right here. Uh, let me show you this again. Second tab, configuration, gonna access the admin panel. Okay. Um, the final tab here and I'm pressing the restore all. So now the device is going to reboot and after it will start up, it will uh, ask me to activate it again and to input a password and that actually means that it wasn't yet activated. And so uh, the device the device already started up and so uh, it requires, it asks me to create a password and that actually means it wasn't yet activated. So uh, let me just create a password the one that I use for every video because all right it's easy to remember for me you all have this kind of password that is easy to remember and only you know it so all right uh, yeah selecting a language next and that's uh, and here you got a very interesting thing so from a factory heck vision devices are usually set to a zero subnet so you can see 192.0064 and the same as a gateway so this won't allow it to walk under our subnet so we actually gotta change this modify the settings to make it walk under our network so and here's a very awesome thing we just click a DHCP once and it automatically gets the address inside of our network and the unique I uh, see 109 in our subnet and this is just fantastic because uh well yeah that's it that's it that's all good all right uh next and here uh you see it's selected indoor station here and indoor station can be only one and main unit this one so we select the indoor extension uh like like we did with the IVMS and also we assign a second number to it and I can see it's actually now is a extension module we press next and here well I'm just bowing I'm just literally bowing to the system for its simplicity now watch what happens here after you select that this is an extension module uh, oh yeah you cannot uh, find this uh, call panel this door phone anymore in here the only thing you can look up for here is the main monitors main units so you see it's 8350TE1 and this is it the monitor everything is really thought out here because when you change it you can only uh, well on this auto search screen find this kind of devices so yeah we just click here finish and well there you go. Hi, this is fantastic. The same functionality. The door is open. Door is open. The door is open. Now we're gonna drop it. And <laughs> isn't that fantastic? I mean, that is so simple. Just uh, I don't know, fantastic. And uh, let's go to the broadcast main door station. So again, the same functionality and identical functionality for both of them. The door is open. Door is open. The door is open. 
door is open and this is how easy it actually is and now let's conclude let's sum up the whole thing in conclusion i want to say that I was simply struck by the ease of this setup and activation and specifically the ability to configure both monitors and the door phone and then just instantly link them all into a single system without even using a, any PC software. It is amazingly simple and convenient. And well, in the Babel system store, we have not only this available, but also an alarm systems, IP cameras, and many other devices, brands. And if you indicate that you are a subscriber of us, of ours, <laughs> we'll make a much more tasty offer for you. So uh, need help, questions, descriptions of your tasks <laughs> are always welcome in the comment section on this video. And not a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.